What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. This is my first video of Funko Pops and Funko products. I am going to make many, many, many more videos of hunts, what I found in hunts, where I went, uh, mystery boxes. I actually have three in the mail right now, two from Chalice Collectibles and one from Smee World. Pre-orders, Comic-Con pieces, my own personal collection, uh, backstory on my collecting. Um, I started with Funko Pops Pops about five years ago and uh, I just checked PPG and I'm over 1500 now. Now a hundred of those are minis but 1400 and a little bit more is Funko Pops. Love Funko Pops. Uh, love the new Funko Pop pins that are coming out. I'll be doing a couple videos of those. Got some of those being shipped my way. But today was a very quick hunt. I went to two Walmarts and one Barnes and Noble and these are what I found. Of course, if you're going to Walmart anytime now and you're hunting, you are going to find the child exclusive. Well, hopefully you find the child exclusive. Um, anything right now is gold with the Mandalorian. Anything, if you're, if you're wanting to do resale, if you're wanting to do personal collection, anything that has Star Wars Mandalorian on it or the child is gold right now. It will, of course, go up in value if you're a reseller, personal collection, which this will be for me. Uh, it's going to stay where it is. I haven't put it in a pop protector yet, but I definitely, definitely will here soon. But that was the first one. Uh, went to the second Walmart, struck out. Uh, they had a couple of childs, already have one mint. I checked, they were all damaged, so of course went to Barnes & Noble. If you don't know about Barnes & Noble right now, they have buy two pops for $10. Now, I know what you're thinking, comments. These are exclusives. Any pops $15 and under, it's buy two for 10. So, how can you not take that up? So, the first pop I bought at Barnes & Nobles is going to be the thing. Trying to get that glare out for you. The thing from Fantastic Four. Uh, that glare is killing me. There we go. That's a little better. Uh, exclusive. He's wearing his coat and hat, like you see there. Uh, it looks really, really good. It's actually a very, very heavy pop. And since Marvel has the rights of Fantastic Four, uh, it's a good idea to jump on these because once they come out into the movies, pops are going to be everywhere. And of course, everyone's going to be wanting the original ones that came out. So anything Fantastic Four right now is a good buy if you're going to resell. Of course, this one, well, all these are personal collection for me though. This one, of course, Alan Paris from Jumanji. Uh, Robin Williams grew up on that show. This, I'm trying to get that damn glare out for you. Let's see what happens. Uh, this pop, there we go, that's better. Uh, this pop I love. It's his jungle when he first comes back out of Jumanji with the kids in, that, re, or that are playing the game. Love this pop. Uh, of course, I love pops that come with uh, no pictures on the back, kind of just like a one-off. Love that. Next pop, I don't even know really what these are, but uh, they look badass to me. So we have Ultraman here. Ultraman number 740, 764. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, looks really good. I'm working on that glare. First video, you got to work with the glare. But uh, he's looking really, really good. Um, good looking pop. Cool looking pop. That's why I bought him. And uh, for $5, why the hell not, right? So if you're going to get an Ultraman, might as well get Ultra Ace. Ultraman Ace, 767, Barnes & Noble's first to market, which looks good. There's a side kind of profile so you can see them. Um, looks really cool, has a different headpiece uh, than the Ultraman, which is really cool. And uh, first to market sticker is a pretty cool sticker. The next one up is Ultraman Jack, which is right here. Another first to market sticker, which kind of looks pretty cool. Um, there's this side if you were wondering. But, uh, yeah, it looks a lot like Ultraman, but it's Ultraman Jack, first to market. I love these, uh, the way they look, and for $5, you can't go wrong. So if you haven't hit up your Barnes & Nobles, hit up your Barnes & Nobles. Next video will probably be another hunt just to see what's out there. And uh, then I'll have my mystery boxes coming in, so mystery boxes will be coming up. Hopefully you got something out of this. Um, if you love Funko like I do, we will figure something out. Um, if the channel grows big enough, I would love to do giveaways. Uh, so if you like this, please subscribe and thank you for watching. Take care.